Welcome beautiful healing thriver to Thriver TV where not only do you get information about narcissists, you also get true solutions to heal for real from narcissistic abuse and disappointing relationship patterns. Today this episode is so important because it's going to give you your power back. I'm going to explain to you how to shut down a narcissist without saying a word. And I know that can be really hard initially if you were like my previous self and you wanted to say lots of words, but please know what you are about to learn is invaluable. Okay. Now, just before I get to that, I just want to say quickly now, the gold standard for breaking away and completely eliminating narcissistic abuse in your life is NARP. And a lot of people know about it, but if you don't, you can learn more about this in the show notes or clicking the link that appears on your screen. Okay, so I'm going to take you through the mechanics of the essential three levels of working up to shutting the narcissist down without saying a word. Each one of these levels is vital. The last one more than you could ever imagine. So make sure you watch this video right through to the end and you may even want to take some notes. The first part about this is less is best. And you need to understand that with a narcissist, because if you respond or react to anything they're doing or saying, it's energy, it's narcissistic supply. Now just get this straight, really get this. A narcissist could not care less about whether you're arguing about something really important to you or to them, or about a fly crawling up a wall. They don't care. And I know that you think your explanation is really important in getting it through what you want them to hear. You know, it's the lecturing and the prescribing we do. We go into the details. It's like trying to explain something to a five year old in an adult's body, but the narcissist isn't hearing any of it. They don't even care about the details. So all of the sensibilities, the logic or the information, they don't care. So we're turning ourselves inside out and upside down and twisting ourselves into a pretzel to try and get it across in a way that they understand it and they get it. All he or she is interested in is your energy. Get this straight, your energy. I know I can affect you is the mantra. So what they're looking for to do in their behavior or how they speak to you or what they say, they're looking for a hook. They're looking for an angle. They're looking for a way to throw you off your emotional balance because what they want from you is attention, energy, angst, anything with emotional energy is food for them. That's what they thrive on. Your pain, your emotional reaction. And that's the way that they get narcissistic supply. So our normal human construct is I'm going to get in there. I'm going to fix this. I'm going to sort you out. I'm going to get you to understand what you're doing and what you need to understand to pull your head in and start behaving like a normal, rational human being. That's where we're coming from. And for them, this is like booyah, because the more you try to do that, the more I know I'm affecting you, the more I can throw an atom bomb in there to throw you even more off balance so I can get more of your emotional distraught energy. So you got to get very clear. It's not working. You trying to sort it out by confronting it is not working. So Ned, let's now look at the next level because that doesn't work of how to defeat a narcissist and stop them hurting you. The next level is gray rock or silence. Now, a lot of you would have heard about gray rock because it's a common term in abuse recovery forums. Gray rock means that you are just handing over monosyllables. You have no emotional energy behind what you're saying. 
less is so much best you just you know you just answer yes no this is what i will this is what i won't you leave all explanations out of it and all the details and all of the emotions so you're not handing over any any energy emotional energy but of course it's precarious because you're still in conversation and narcissists are very smart they know what your insecurities your gaps are and they know what triggers you off so no contact is better if you don't have to have any dealings with this person if you do have to have dealings with them well then you can gray rock through third party communication channels like our family wizard or through your solicitor or whatever it is less is best nothing is better if you need to parallel parent if you're doing joint custody or if there's some things in business etc that you have to clean up well then I would really say to you third party communication is much much better okay so you know that level of de detachment it's great in theory of course but this is the question you've got to get very uh, honest with yourself about but can you do this can you do this can you detach to that level and i really want you to feel into this because it's a really important question because it is hard to do and i don't want you to use any excuses or reasons about the narcissist you might say because you know they won't let me do that they keep coming at me because they do the most horrible things because i'm trying to whatever it is Okay, I want you to take your power back and the only way we do that as thrivers is you've got to make it all about you. You know they're going to do horrible things. You know they're going to say horrible things. Okay, but you've got to take your power back. You are the only person that you can change, heal and empower. Okay, I'm just going to give you my example of why I used to previously struggle with not reacting. I wanted accountability. I was this kind of, I was, I was this righteous person. It's completely wrong what you're doing and I'm going to make you see what needs to be right. That was my ego invested and I also had a terror. If I can't make you behave in a responsible, sane, safe way, I can't be safe. Those were huge triggers for me. And you could have all of that, or you may have a terror of abandonment, which used to be one of mine as well, or you may have guilt or obligation. It's my duty to, to tell this person and help them and make them see what they're doing. We all have reasons and belief systems as to why we're trying to take responsibility for people that will not take responsibility for themselves. And we've got to take responsibility for ourselves to stop the abuse. So how can you stop responding? Remember, they don't care what you're telling them. They just want your painful emotional energy. How can you stop responding? You can only stop responding by healing those parts of you that are handing your power away so that you don't respond at all. So you don't hand over any more narcissistic supply. Okay, so that you give them nothing. You give them nothing and you have, there, there's nothing. But does this mean that you've stopped handing your power away? Now you might be quite shocked at the answer I'm just about to give you. No, it doesn't mean that you stopped handing power away because there is a whole other level where the narcissist is taking energy and life force from you and we're going to have a look at that. I told you the last part of this is so important and we're just going to talk about it now. We're going to talk about shoring up the psychic infiltration. Now I'm about to explain to you what your true narcissistic abuse recovery work is. I know that you felt the feelings of the black ink through your veins, that you felt like that the narcissist is still living in your head and living in your heart and your being. What do you think this is? This is psychic vandalization. Literally, you're in a battle for your soul. What do I mean by that? I literally mean that the narcissist has been sucking out your life force, 
they have wedged inside of you like a horrible psychic disease and you know what that feels like I know you know and I knew what that felt like because I lived through it as well and this is why you feel like you have no life force. This is why you feel like you have the anxiety and the depression and the PTSD and the acrophobia and all the things that life can't go on as normal. And there are countless people, even decades down the track, that have got away from the narcissist and the narcissist is out of their life, but they're not out of their being. I can't tell you how many people I've met before Thriver Healing, before actually doing the deep inner quantum work that have still suffered from that. And it's definitely not a coincidence. I've also seen so many people that when they do do the deeper inner work, the deep inner soul work, they get free, they get healthy, they get clean. It's literally like an exorcism and they fill with life force again. And it's very interesting because people, when they start doing that work, sometimes the narcissist, even after years or decades, will have a crack at making contact. What's that about? I've seen it that many times. It is not a coincidence. What's that about? They feel the energy cord gone. They feel it gone and they try to hook it back up and maybe it's deeply unconscious or maybe at some level in their skewered crazy thinking they know it. I don't know the answer to that but it happens a lot and the thing is you know a lot of people think well if I just tie cut and I just tie cut and I visualize tie cut it's so much more than that it's actually about healing the inner traumas that have made you the other half of the magnet unconsciously for the trauma bond, the psychic infiltrating trauma bond. When that's gone, it's gone. So what is the real work? The real work is turning inwards to release and reprogram everything inside of you that's been triggered and stolen energetically by the narcissist. And then when you do that, it is like an exorcism. You exercise them out of your being, out of your cells. And once your body releases all of that, your brain just shifts to match that inner shift. And you up level and you become more expanded, confident, free and empowered than you've ever been. And when you release what was trapped in the trauma, which was those parts of you trying to survive and deal with self life and others when that all gets released then your survival of trauma gets shifted into creative expression energy and inspiration and then the narcissist to you becomes about as interesting as walking over a slug on a pavement it's like oh that's a bit icky yeah whatever and you've forgotten it by the time you get to the next curb that's how disinteresting they become when you work back through these three levels. So we're going to go, we're going to check out these three levels again. Step one is realize, don't react. You're just handing over narcissistic supply. Don't waste your energy. You're just going to get yourself abused. Step two, set up detachment where you're going gray rock or you're going into silence. And then, so importantly, step three, turn inwards to completely heal and reclaim your soul so that the narcissist becomes not your reality, N-Y-R. You're not my reality. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to pause this video and I want you to write this powerful intention below. And this is what this powerful intention is. I let go of you. I'm ending this battle now. From today forward, I'm claiming my soul, true self and true life. This is a beautiful mantra to tell yourself because that is how you defeat them. That's how you stop them hurting you. 
This is how you start to understand that narcissists have no energy system of their own and they can't survive unless they're feeding off your pain, off your louche, off your traumatized energy. That's their fodder, that's their food. So this is the bottom, bottom line. When you clean up your pain from the inside and you evolve yourself beyond it, a narcissist will become as powerless as the little frail man or woman behind the curtain. And you will understand that they have only been powered up through your pain and your fear and your reactions. When you get free of that from the inside out, you're gonna watch yourself soar in your life whilst he or she shrinks away from your life experience. Okay, now you don't have to believe a thing I'm saying, but I know as I've seen for myself and so many others in this community, when you turn inwards and you start reclaiming your soul, you will see it for yourself. Okay, so please remember to like and share this video with the people and the communities that you would love to see heal from abuse. And if it's time for you to heal for real, I want you to check out NARP, which is the healing system that healed myself and thousands of others from over 120 different countries from the unthinkable and the symptoms that we were told that we would never heal from. And I'd love to hear from you about this episode, what you've been doing to take your power back, what you recognize now that you need to do, and of course, any questions that you may have. So until the next one, keep smiling, keep healing, and keep thriving because there is nothing else to do. Lots of love. Bye-bye.